Go teams! You're the best home team and visiting team. I know I don't normally come to baseball games, but I'm pretty sure both teams can't be the best, Mimi. But they're both playing super well. It isn't as important which team wins. We're here to support Gabe. Yay, Gabe! Yay! Woo! Go, Gabe! Woo! Go, Gabe! 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 That's got to be some kind of record. Wait, he's never been allowed to play? But it's a traveling league. The brochure even says that all kids will have an opportunity to play. They promised. Well, Coach Robertson doesn't seem to be overly concerned with honoring that promise. Or coaching. Ain't no use for you working so hard this season. Hey, Gabe, I just heard that the coach never lets you play. That's so unfair. Yeah, it's not great for my already delicate ego. What can we do? We gotta right this wrong. Well, there isn't anything to do right now, but the coach will be posting a new lineup next week. If you could convince him to put me on the roster. Say no more, Gabe. We're on it. I got 30 signatures for our Let Gabe Play petition. And I got 45. And I got 2,358. What? I'm very persuasive. Now let's take the petition up to Coach Robertson's house. Hi, Coach Robertson. This is a petition of all the people who want to see you do the right thing and let Gabe play. What do you say we... Oh, this is far from over. Let Gabe play! Let Gabe play! <laughs> well, that will certainly get some attention. There's no way Gabe will set out the next game. Let Gabe play! Let Gabe play! He... he didn't change his mind. Nope. It's the exact same roster as last week. It seems all our persistence wasn't enough to overcome the coach's desire to not do anything. At all. Well, thanks for trying anyway. Well, I for one am going to do some praying about this. But, Ruby, we tried everything. If we couldn't get the coach to do the right thing, what else could God possibly do? I don't know, but God wouldn't want us to give up. I'm going to ask God to be with us as we keep trying to get justice. Yeah, but, Ruby... And you know what won't improve things? Giving up. Now, who's going to get out there and help me try to right some baseball wrong? Uh, yeah, let's do it! Where is she going? I have no idea. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our first annual Robot Bible Trivia Contest. Each contestant has been loaned one of my robots to code with as much biblical information as they could. So, humans and bots, is everyone ready? We sure are, Leo. Directory not found. System error rebooting. Uh, sorry, Gabe. Ditto Bot is not exactly my greatest robotic achievement. No, it is not. But I am... <gasps> Gasp! Relax, everyone. Theologitomaton Ultimate is perfectly peaceful. And perfectly perfect. Of course, in order to eliminate its interests in taking over the world, I had to give it a new interest, so it is now obsessed with itself. I have evolved beyond the need of such petty things as world domination, and I shall prove it by winning your petty competition. What? No way! It did fill out the necessary entry forms, so it's just as entitled to compete as anyone. Systems online. What did I miss? All right. Our first question is from Joel chapter 2. According to this chapter, why should the people be glad and rejoice? You've got this, Unibot! The people are called to rejoice because God has given them early rain. Correct, but incomplete. They are told to rejoice for abundant rain, grain, wine, and oil. Correct! Insufficient data. It's okay, Unibot. Critical error. Just take deep breaths. Shutting down. A point to Theologitomaton. 
Well done. It helps to have more memory than a graphing calculator. Unlike some of us. Ha. 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 Agreed. Your memory and processing capacity are superior. Okay, next question. From Luke chapter 18. Who was justified before God? The tax collector or the Pharisee? Answer. The Pharisee. Uh, incorrect. Jesus clearly states that it is the tax collector. The Pharisee is an upholder of God's laws and traditions. Therefore, Jesus is incorrect. Really? Jesus is wrong. That is incorrect. But Jesus is incorrect. I am the one who is incorrect, correct, incorrect. Overloading. Final question. Why was the tax collector justified before God? Searching memory. The tax collector was humble, and Jesus said, those who humble themselves will be exalted. That is... Correct! And it's the robot with the most points, who is still functioning, Dinobot wins! Gabe programmed me. Gabe deserves the credit. Uh, give me a hug, pal. Hug directory not found? Rebooting. He'll be back. Give him a minute. Just coming, Bert? Pretty good. I've just got to put apples in each of them, but then they'll be ready to. Oh, it's my phone alarm. Ah, that's right. Bert, it is time for you to thank me. Thank you? Uh, you're very welcome. Really, it was the least I could do. Wait, I wasn't thanking you. I was... Why would I be thanking you? Well, it is the one-year anniversary of your move here. It's time to look back on how much you've changed and grown for the better. And how it is all my doing. How do you figure? Think about it, Bert. When you first moved here, you were called Bert the Bully. We had all heard such terrible stories about the stuff you did. Really? But none of you had even met me yet. That's exactly what Leo said. Where did you guys hear any of this? Only from everyone. Yeah, it's all over school. Guys? Have any of you even met Bert? No. no. Uh, guys? Then how do you even know if it's true? Look, I'm telling you, this Bert guy is a total menace. Guys? <gasps> yeah, that was pretty weird. Especially for me. I mean, what do you say to the only person who didn't run away from you screaming? Um, you must be Bert. Yeah, so? Well, uh, you're, you're the new kid in town, so I, I just wanted to say... Uh, Look, I didn't even want to move here, all right? I'm sorry? I didn't want to move to this dumb new town, or go to a new school, or attend your new church, all right? Well, uh, none of those things are actually new. They've been here for... Oh, so this is the part where you make fun of me, because I'm the one who's new? What? No, it's, it's just that those things aren't new. I, I sometimes get into semantics when I'm nervous. Ooh, semantics. Big word. You think I don't know what semantics means because I'm the new kid and you're some kind of genius? Is that it? Well, super genius is the technical term for it, but, but no. What are you trying to say then? Uh, welcome to First Second Church. You're just welcoming me? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm going to go then, but I'll see you around. All right, Bert? Even though I was upset and not very polite, Leo was really welcoming to me. Yeah, yeah, he shook your hand or whatever. But I was the one who transformed you from the new kid known as Bert the Bully to who you are now. Bert, who sometimes gets angry at stuff and it's weird. Really? Since you've all welcomed me, you don't also see that you've changed too? That's ridiculous. I would never change, unless I wanted to. Well, if you ask me, you've gone from Ruby the girl who used to talk about me, to Ruby the girl who talks to me. 
So you might say. Welcoming me has changed you into a nicer, friendlier person. You're welcome. Wait, what just happened? Hey everyone! I'm not late, am I? Nope! We all just got here! Nevertheless, Gabe, as the newest member of our Bible quiz ball team, we need to get you up to speed ASAP. Wow, looks like we've got a lot to cover. Oh yeah, the judges can ask about anything from the Bible, so we've got to be on our toes. That's why I brought my ballet slippers. Because I'm on my toes. Everyone read their sample questions. Roxy is coming by to help us study in a little bit. <clears throat> if I may, as team captain, I suggest we start with some theological questions that I've prepared. How is that going to help us study Bible trivia? Thinking in the abstract will limber up your mind. Okay. I guess. Excellent. Question one. If God created everything, did God also create evil? Um... I guess if God created everything, then that includes creating evil. A fair assessment, until you recall Isaiah chapter 14, which clearly states that God created man and angels with the capacity for evil. So technically, evil was not created by God at all. Uh, that's not the sort of question we're going to be asked, is it? No, it's not. Of course not. Oh, it's far too advanced for a Bible quiz bowl. Oh, here's a spiritual quandary. If God created the universe, who created God? Oh, um, how would we even check the answer on that? The entire question is a logical fallacy. The universe has a beginning, so it needs a creator. God created the universe and time along with it, so there's no beginning of God. Thus, no need for a creator for God. What does this have to do with anything? It's a mental exercise. But I'm not sure it's helping us study. Yeah, my brain hurts. No pain, no gain. Um, hi, everyone. Oh, Roxy. Say, here's a question for you. No, 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 no. Roxy is here to help us with an actual quiz bowl. Not a hypothetical quiz bowl or an infinite number of quiz bowls with no beginnings or ends. A real one. I'm sensing some hostility toward my theological questions, Ruby. I can't help that I'm so good at them. But you can help your motives for asking those questions. But I... but I knew all the answers. Do you want to ask questions to help people learn, or just to stump them? Oh, I, well, I guess I was kind of showing off. Your quiz bull team needs you, Leo. So why don't you start helping them find answers? I'm sorry, everyone. I'll try to be more helpful. Ugh, thank you. We'd really appreciate it, Leo. Wow. I feel so sheepish now. <laughs> That's all right, Leo. I've been feeling like a llama all morning. All right, so the Arts and Crafts and Christ Club meeting tomorrow is going to be a potluck. That means everyone brings food to share. Hear that, Bert? Everyone. Uh, I've been to a potluck before, Ruby. I think I can handle bringing mini meatballs to the meeting. Good. Gabe, what will you bring? Fruit salad. Mimi. Marshmallows. Just kidding, you guys. I'll bring a regular salad with marshmallows mixed in. Fine. And I'll bring brownies for dessert. So everyone be sure to come hungry, all right? Right! <laughs> All right, time to make some fruit salad. Crash tractor. Do, do we not have any fruit? How am I supposed to make fruit salad without fruit? Crash tractor. I've still got time to bike to Continue. the store, get fruit, make the fruit Continue. salad, and get to the meeting on time. Crash tractor. If I leave right now. Turbo diesel. Right now. Cattle. Well, maybe I'll I'll bring something easier. No one cares about fruit salad. Choo -choo jackknife. <sighs> Game over. Continue. It'll be fine. Crash tractor. I hereby call this meeting of the 15th Pony Parliament to order.
first order of business? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Well, I'm sure it's not as important as Pony Parliament. Now then, who has new business? Whoa, 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 one at a time, one at a time. Make dessert for potluck. Nope. I'm here, I'm here. I'm so sorry I forgot about this, but it did bring a bag of ice. We all brought ice, it seems. Interesting. This really doesn't speak well of the group if we can't even do a simple potluck. Do we seriously have no food? I'm starving! We're all starving. I know, seriously. I could eat a dozen of these mini meatballs. I tried something new for the sauce. I don't want to ruin the surprise, but it involves saffron. What's with all the ice? Wow, you all look really hungry. Um, Ruby? Gabe? Mimi? for picture retake day two? Yeah, I am not happy with how my class picture turned out. Perfect. Well, I'm sure this time will go great. It had better. School photos can make or break your reputation. I've got a lot riding on this photo. Oh, I know what you mean. <laughs> Four picture days were that bad? Yep. I promised my parents that this would be the year that I finally got a decent school photo for my aunt. This is my last chance. Well, pictures start in 10 minutes, so you're out of the woods. Unless something unbelievable happens. Please, vending machine. Please, just give me my twill mix. Oh, that is it. Oh, what am I doing? I can't hit you, vending machine, not after all the good times we've had. Oh, no! The door seems to be blocked. Unbelievable. I'm sure someone will let us out in time. All right. Now the school's bathrooms will be 7% more water efficient. As long as I don't over-tighten this... Uh-oh. Unbelievable. Oh, no. I'm going to be a mess for my picture for the fifth year in a row. We're both going to be a mess in a few seconds, unless someone saves us. It would have been nice to give my aunt a good picture for once. No. You are going to have the best photo day ever. All I need... Aha! Here it is! <gasps> Ruby! No! <gasps> that should do it! Ugh, this is so unbelievably gross! But we're still trapped in here! We'll miss picture retake day in another two minutes! Unless someone crawls through that air duct to get help, which is probably filled with dust and dirt and cobwebs. <sighs> All right. Give me a boost. That girl will go down in picture retake day history. Isn't it a beautiful day? So peaceful. No, Ruby, that's ridiculous. Oh, look, it's Ruby and Leo. Ridiculous? You're calling me ridiculous? No, I'm calling your proposal that we only play Advent music during the Advent season ridiculous. It's Advent. Christmas music is for Christmas. Ruby does have a point. What, and miss out on Christmas songs? No way. Advent songs just aren't that catchy, Ruby. Not that catchy. You take that back, or you'll see just how catchy this snowball is. 
understand? Oh, I understand. Ooh, a snowball fight. Those are always fun. They're coming at us again, and this time Leo has something big. We have to negotiate for peace. Never! Ruby, what are you doing? That thing will demolish you! Just stay low. He's going down. It looks like Ruby is charging you, General Leo. I think now would be a super good time to bring up peace. Never! Over, Ruby. Leo, how did you... I ejected before the crash. Are you ready to surrender? No way. I just destroyed your giant robot thingy. I'm winning. That's true. If I only had one giant robot thingy... You think I'm afraid of a few more robots? I am. That's it. Both of you, we need to stop this fighting. It can only get worse. Mimi's right. Don't you remember what Pastor Donna said this morning? That there's always people who want to fight, but God is always leading us to peace. So why don't you just let God do that? Just stop fighting? What would we do with our snowball war arsenal? Literally anything would be better. Hmm. We could just make peace, I suppose. Agreed. Peace it is, but on one condition. That you help me get down from here. You've got yourself a deal. Hi, Gabe. Are you having a rummage sale? No, I'm building a machine. A machine? Yeah. Pastor Pete said the Messiah is coming, so I built this machine to detect signs of the Messiah's coming. I give you. Gabe's coming of the Messiah early warning detecting alert alarm thing. Wow. This is super surprising, Gabe. You don't really build machines. That's more Leo's thing. You know, Leo's not the only one who can build things, all right? How does it work? Well... It's a bunch of stuff that monitors the whole world for healing, wholeness, and good news. What's uh, the tea kettle for? Well, to explain the tea kettle, I need to explain the hamster wheel. And to explain the hamster wheel, I need to... You know what? I better just start at the beginning. This part of the machine monitors the newspaper. So when Mr. Stanescu reads about some good news or healing, he rings the bell. Go ahead, Mr. Stanescu. <sighs> The bell scares Mr. Fuzzler, which powers the spark, which lights the burner, which heats the water and makes the tea kettle whistle, which tells me that Mr. Stanescu has found something. Simple. Anything yet, Mr. Stanescu? Yes, still promoti la pantalon. A sale on slacks? That's pretty good news. This is a cool machine, Gabe, though it seems like it's made mostly of animals and people. Thanks. I spent all Saturday making it. Um... But the thing is that the Messiah is... Hey, Gabe! Hold that thought, Mimi. Bert may have spotted a sign of wholeness. What's up, Bert? There's a lot of crosswinds up here. But have you seen any signs of wholeness? Um, I guess. They're replacing a window next door. They made it whole. Why didn't you release the parakeets? I, I want to come down. No, no, I'll come up. Oh, no! Whoa, whoa! My machine. 
how will we ever know when the Messiah comes? Gabe, I think when Pastor Pete was saying we had to look for signs of the Messiah, he meant because he already came. What? When? Jesus is the Messiah. So the Messiah came over 2,000 years ago? Uh-huh. Then why did I spend my entire Saturday building this machine? Mm, well, Jesus is still bringing good news, wholeness, and healing today. That's worth detecting. And he'll come again someday. <gasps> Plus, you're helping Bert overcome his fear of heights. Bert's not afraid of heights. I am now. Let's take it from the top. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Hi there. Sorry, uh, I didn't. I didn't mean to interrupt. Not a problem, Leo. <gasps> That's a pretty cool suitcase you've got there. Oh, it's not a suitcase. It's my hurdy gurdy. Gazoo tight. No, it's a musical instrument. I've been practicing a lot, and I think I'm ready to join the band. Cool. What band? Uh, this band. Oh, well, you see, Leo, since we're First Second Church's official youth ensemble, we... We, we have a bunch of rules. And one of the rules is... Is, is that you have to play a real instrument. Yeah, right, exactly. The hurdy-gurdy is a real instrument. Check it out. Oh, I get it. The instrument is inside the strange suitcase. No, the instrument is the suitcase. I, I mean, it's not a suitcase. It has a wheel that you turn inside that... Just watch. Band meeting! Okay, you both know how important this is. We'll be playing in front of the entire congregation for the Advent season. And we can't have Leo and his weird suitcase throwing us off. So go tell him all that, Gabe. What? Me? I love huddles. But you know he can probably hear us, right? Yeah. I can hear you. Sorry, Leo. It's just that Advent season is a really important time for the band. Well, for all Christians, really. Yeah, that's true. But it's just not a time for us to welcome anyone and everyone in because Advent is so important. Right. It is important because it's about welcoming anyone and everyone in. Oh, I see what he did there. Nice, Leo. Fine, fine, we can try it. We're playing? Way ahead of you, Ruby. Five, six, seven, eight. That didn't sound as good altogether. You know, Leo, if you match your tempo to Gabe's and we all drop down a few steps, maybe it would sound better. Really? Okay. Well, it's still not perfect. It's getting there. Let's keep practicing. 